back to my channel. It's been a really long time, but I am so excited to finally be back vlogging consistently and kicking off my return with a Ramadan series like I do every year. This video in particular, I'm going to show you guys all of the really cute Ramadan decorations that I got. I've unboxed a lot of it behind me. It's a huge mess, but I also have a few pieces still in the boxes just to do a little unboxing with you guys. Um, I have another video going live right after this, like probably the week after this, giving you guys a little backstory of where I've been, what I've been up to, and just a little catch up. So I'm going to skip that in this vlog and get right into the decor. So really quickly, I'm thinking to have about four videos in my Ramadan series. So this will be my Ramadan decoration video. My next one is preparing for Ramadan, and then I'm going to have food preparation for Ramadan, like, um make ahead freezer meals. Last time I shared a video like that, you guys really, really liked it. So this time my mom and I are gonna do like shami kebabs, um, paratha rolls, which is similar to like kebab rolls. And then we're doing like a really nice like pastry, like chicken pastry roll that you can dice up. It's gonna be so good. So make sure you guys are subscribed for those videos. But now getting into my decor. So a few things I've already opened and I want to show you guys. This brand is new to me, but they sent over a few of their like wooden decals and they are so cute. So these pieces are from Zane and Nura. Look how cute these pieces are. I love that they're so minimal and modern. So this white piece says Ramadan Karim. I think it's so beautiful. I love the way it's carved out. All of this is made on wood and then I think they just kind of stained it. So this is in the white color. This also comes in black and like a really pretty teal. And then this one, which I love so much, I'm going to put this downstairs on our entryway table, says Ramadan Mubarak in black. It's so, so gorgeous. So right now I have the two pieces set up here because I was just like trying to decorate my room. Um, and then I'll show you guys the other pieces I got. So the other brand that sent me a couple things is with a spin. I have got their stuff last year too, and their stuff is really good quality, and they have some really pretty modern pieces as well. So I like things that are minimal, things that match my house. And she kindly sent this over. Look how gorgeous this is. This is the 99 names of Allah in a little circle pattern. It's so pretty. I love this little gold detail at the bottom, and it has and it's sitting on this really beautiful stand. This is literally stunning. So I'm gonna put this probably on my vanity there. I'll show you guys how I decorate everything at the very end. And then a few other pieces I got from with a spin. This one is so pretty. I love this one. This one lights up and I'm in love with it. Look. Look how gorgeous this is. I believe this says la ilaha illallah. So this piece lights up and it looks so pretty at night. So can't wait to show you guys this decorated. I got this gorgeous serving tray. This also comes in a variation of colors. I think this comes in black and so does this little guy. But yeah, I thought this was so cute because we definitely do have guests come over for Ramadan and this would be a really pretty serving tray. So like, you know, Put some dates on here, some tea, and pass it out. So these are the few things that I got from Muslim-owned brands. There's also two other brands that are going to send me some stuff, so I'll show you guys that as I get them. I moved over because I felt like there was just too much trash in the background over there. So I got a couple things from Amazon. So you guys know every year I do a little prayer corner. It's like my little escape. I usually do it like in some corner of my room. And I highly encourage all of you guys to do the same because it really does help like get motivated and connected when you have like a dedicated space. So I wanted a new um, prayer mat. So I got this from Amazon. It's a gorgeous baby pink color. Um, and I just wanted a padded uh, rug because my knees do hurt when I go down if it's like not padded. This is so cute. So I got this beautiful prayer rug. What gorgeous. I'll definitely be linking everything for you guys down below. But I thought I would put this in the corner. That looks so pretty. I love that it's like a little bright pink. Here's a prayer rug. It's so pretty. It has like a really beautiful sheen to it. 
I love that it's like pop of pink because the rest of the stuff back here, I'm going to do like neutral. So I'm going to put neutral pillows and some lighting. And then I'm going to have a little stand there so I can put like a water thermos and my Quran. Okay. And then lastly, I got star lights because mine got all tangled up and then they broke. So these are on sale right now at Amazon. And there are these really cute star lights. And you just put batteries in them. You just put some batteries here and they all light up and there are little stars and it makes the area look so cozy and cute. So I'm thinking I'm going to put these um, on my entryway downstairs and then I'm going to put a couple here around my pillowcase. So definitely excited about that. So that's all I got. I'm going to try to decorate my area. Like look how messy this is. My room literally looks like a trash can. I'm going to try to decorate and put things together. And then I will show you guys. Please ignore the mess behind me. I'm honestly so embarrassed, but I wanted to show you guys my two-piece cord set today. I definitely think this is a really cute, modest piece. Um, I got it off of Amazon in this like apricot color. That's what they call it on Amazon's website. But um, it has pockets on the side and it has drawstrings. So it's definitely really, really modest and practical. Really cute set. Comes in so many colors. Um, so I'll link it for you guys down below. I'm also on the hunt for some abayas. So if you guys have any really like cute abaya shops that you guys shop at, let me know. Um, I didn't find any on like Amazon or Etsy that I like. So yeah, if you guys have any recommendations, please let me know. So yeah, I'll link this down below. what the dresser setup ended up looking like I think it looks so pretty very minimal and just elegant that was like the theme of this year elegant minimal and just a few big pieces I just I last year I feel like I overdid it with small small little things it kind of looked a little tacky so this year I wanted to be very mindful about the pieces I use so I have these two gorgeous pieces from um, Zayn and Nora that I shared with you guys and then I have these starlights just going right over top of my mirror and I think it looks so so pretty. I did debate. There's Isa hiding. Hi Isa. You wanted to be in my video, remember? Yeah. Say hi. hi. <laughs> um I wanted to put this greenery, but like I don't know, it kind of looks pretty, but then kind of it's just like too much. Like let me show you guys. If you like a little bit more of greenery in your aesthetics then this will definitely be a good option i suggest though instead of like this huge bulky thing get some olive tree branches and i think that would look really really pretty i went ahead and tried to stuff in the greenery just to show you guys what it would look like i also think this is a really beautiful look i do love the little pop of color so this is the option if you guys like that dresser is looking like I really wanted to keep it very minimal and have a few pieces but like ones that stand out a lot so I have these two pieces from with a spin this one lights up and it looks so cute and then I have my serving tray which I plan to probably put like um dates in here and stuff like that but for now I just decorated it with a candle and I'll most likely take it downstairs if we have guests and actually use it as a serving tray but I thought it looked really pretty here and then I used these small little fairy lights just to kind of weave it through because I wanted a little bit of sparkle and I thought this gave it the perfect amount. This is a pack of fairy lights that I'm using. I think this is a pack of like 12. It was so cheap. I got it off of Amazon. I'll link this down below. This is our entryway table and I really wanted to decorate this space so that way when guests walk in they can see this little decorative area right away. So I'm starting off with this green garland. I honestly don't want to use it because I'm going for that minimal look. But I think it needs a little bit of something. I recommend trying to get like a, what is that called, like a runner in the middle. Like a really pretty gauze one that I just didn't think about beforehand. So I'm going to use the greenery for now. I have this really pretty sign that says Ramadan from what they spin. So I'm going to put that here. That looks really 
guys. As I'm going through that minimal look, I'm going to just choose one or two pieces. I'm going to take this and put that here. That's really, really pretty. also love that it gives a little bit of a white pop. I also have some candle loaded that I want to just space around here just to give it a really dainty look. Lastly, I have these lanterns that I think are so pretty. So I'm going to stuff them here. And then I put some of these little fairy lights in here as well. I think that gives it a really pretty... I think I'm going to take one more fairy light and just kind of weave it through here. Because I feel like it's not really that bright with this light. So I'm going to do that here. Here's the final look. I think it looks so pretty. It's definitely giving. Um, the candles I might move. I don't know if like that's like a thing to put on a entryway table. I definitely love the way these two look. Um, I think I got these from Amazon. I'm gonna link it for you guys. Definitely love the little fairy lights underneath. And then the greenery back here I think is giving because the rest is so bare. I definitely think it's giving Ramadan vibes and it looks festive but like simple enough. I think I'm gonna get rid of the candles but yeah this is the finished look. The last piece in my room that I decorated is my little prayer area. I love the way this turned out. Last year I overdid the space and it became so clunky um, so this year I was very intentional with what I placed so I just popped Two big pillows in the back where I can lean back and read Quran and just relax. Then I have this beautiful prayer rug that I shared with you guys. Um, it is padded. It's sort of like, well, it's not padded, but it's a little bit thicker than the one I had last year. So that will be comfortable. And then I have a nice little throw because I do get cold. And I want to snuggle up when I'm like reading or listening to um, a podcast or something. And then I have this little tray where I'm going to put my Quran, my water bottle and stuff like that when I sit in this space. So that is pretty much it. I did add another pair of Starlight just to give it a little bit of a twinkle. And then lastly, this throw is actually from Macy's. It's a gorgeous throw. It has like this beautiful like work on it. Um, if I find one similar or if I find an exact one, I'll definitely link it for you guys. It looks a little bit bare from last time because last time I had like my big mirror in the back. But now I've moved my mirror to this corner. So yeah. But that is now bare but i kind of like it i feel like it shows off the wall paneling so yeah so that is pretty much it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it come back for my next video where i share ramadan recipes and until then everything i shared will be linked down below i love you guys i took off my hijab so i can't show my face bye